Right. <clears throat> Got distracted a bunch. Continuing with the storyline. A swift and secret departure. Given it to us by Alphano on the short pier in Kugane. I informed Tataru of our coming. She and uh, Hancock should be waiting for us in the Ruby, Ruby Bazaar. I'm trying to talk too fast, I think. Then it is here we part ways. Best of luck to you and yours in your piratical endeavors, I suppose, says Alice to Rasho and Tansui. They give a nod slash half bow. Um, can I just... No, I have to be at one. Boo. Where am I going? Ruby Bazaar? Gosh. To try to pick a the closest is a fool's game. Apparently. Because the pier is definitely not close to frickin' anything. Short pier, my firm buttocks. <laughs> Sorry, that's just something I heard on a, yeah, another show or something. I say another show as if this is a show. I mean, it's. it's uh, no, it's not a show. Okay, what's in my bag? Oh, okay, I see. Right. What are these other things that are showing in my bag as. Um, Things for a whatever. Okay, um, Ruby Bazaar. I have some furniture pieces for a room I will probably never ever get. Yes, I'll be going into the Ruby Bazaar offices. Thank you. Cutscene. Tataru and Hancock are talking. Welcome back, everyone, and congratulations on a job well done. It is a pleasure as ever to see your smiling face, Tataru. Less so yours, Hancock, though Rash Rasho and I are sincerely grateful for your assistance. The pleasure was all mine, Master Alfino, I assure you. Anyway, you will be glad to hear that I have already chartered passage for you back to Glimpse Lamensa. The ship is to leave port this very day, but the captain has agreed to wait until the four of you have boarded. The four of us? You mean to stay here in Kugane? Yes! I gave it some thought, and I realized that even with Doma free, there's still a need for a woman in the middle, maybe even more than before, considering all the friends and alliances you made. As I told her many times before, I would be more than willing to assist you. And as I told you many times before, I am not about to let you worm your way into our affairs and exploit our connections for your personal gain. <sighs> Must you always presume the worst? So there you have it. I'll remain here for now. You needn't worry. I'm a regular at the hostelry and a half dozen other local institutions. Everyone loves me. You nod, because obviously, yes. So go on. Don't don't let me keep you. But your sup but your supplies and souvenirs uh, buy your supplies and souvenirs while you still can. When you finished, make haste to the docks, pier number two, to be precise. I'll be waiting for you there. Huh. Is there anything I need in town? Especially considering I'm going back to Limsa Lominsa. Speaking of Hancock, just for the heck of it. Personally, I would prefer, or I would have preferred to host you for a few days, but Tataro is adamant that you return on the first available ship. One could almost suspect she is eager to be rid of you. Idle musings, not more. Purely hypothetical and most assuredly incorrect. She wants only the best for her dear friends, and is surely not motivated by hidden desires to go gallivanting about with her Hingan, Hingan paramours. I cannot deny that the thought of leaving, here, leaving her here alone worries me, but she has proven time and time again that she is far more clever than she appears. She appears plenty clever, dude. Weird thing to say. Besides, I do not think I could persuade her to change her mind. Mayhap I should take her advice and purchase a souvenir or two before leaving. For some reason, Hancock and Alpha Note decided to stay behind and talk, so. But that was an interesting little tidbit that Hancock had regarding Tataru, and then possible nefarious reasons for having us leave so soon. I don't know. Um, blah, blah, blah. Dark as the night sky. What might that be? Let's go over there. To the Bokalu Inn. Oh, 
Oh, Orn Kai. Oh, 68 pet Dragoon, okay. That makes sense. Um There's an airship landing here? No way. I had no freaking idea. Maybe that could have saved me a lot of money. Or like weird teleport things. Oh, I should probably go. Speaking of teleport, yeah, let's go to the. I'm gonna leave just for now my home point here. My free teleport is still in Gridania. Child of Lilith, what's that? What, but what is it? Oh, what's that 68 red mage? Oh. Wow, I got the white mage 68 also. Okay, cool. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Um, in the meantime, we are finishing this quest because that's what we do. Uh, let's go to Shiokaze Hostelry. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Where's the. Oh, <laughs> I'm at the freaking ether, you stupid. I am done speaking with Tartaru. First to arrive, as always. Hopefully, the others will not be far behind. Cutscene. Ah, oh, there you are. All packed and ready to go? Why is she so quick to see us To all? the best of my knowledge, yes. Apologies for the wait. The task of tying up loose ends invariably takes longer than one allows. Happily, however, all now seems to be in order. Then there's nothing left to do but to board the ship. Do try and enjoy the journey, won't you? It may be your last chance to rest for a while. Can I ask That would depend her? on the good captain's choice of route. As ever, Tataru, I pray you take all due precautions while making your inquiries. Better to avoid the local authorities altogether than risk a repeat of our Ishgardian episode. And what sordid episode is this, pray tell? Not to speak of, I assure you. You there! Hold that ship! Sounds like Ian. <laughs> and it is. With you, Geary. What are you two doing here? Shouldn't you be in Doma? Shouldn't you? You left with nary a word. We half wondered if I had done something to offend. Upon learning that you had departed for Kugane, we immediately resolved to give chase. Our comrades can manage affairs in our absence, and it seemed the least we could do. You mean you came all this way just to say goodbye? That too, I. But there was something else I felt I had to say. I'm sorry I've been keeping this up. I don't mean to. Just for blocking. Chat. You helped us win our freedom. And for that, I cannot thank you enough. Accordingly, after we have established an interim government and so forth, I think it only meet that we repay the favor by dispatching our own forces to Eorzea. If you would have us. We harbored no expectations of such generous aid. And as there is no telling when the Empire might strike back at you, would it not be wiser to concentrate your resources on the defense of Doma? I had a mind to pursue a more aggressive defense. To wit, we will send forth Shinobi to provinces far and wide to spread word of our victory, that we might inspire others to take up arms as we did. Even the Empire has its limits. If the Garleans cannot be certain where and when the next rebellion will take place, how can they commit another force to Doma? And besides, so long as this debt remains unpaid, how am I to face myself? And Gorsetzer. As you wish. I will relay your offer to the Eorzean Alliance.
All of Doma is counting on you to finish what we have started. You have it in you, Lys, to seize the future you want. Never forget. I won't, Hien. Not your words or anything else. Everything that led us here, that will drive us forward, I'll carry it with me always. And that's a promise. <laughs> I will hold you to that. Go with them to Eorzea. Tell their people of our triumph and of our pledge to stand with them. By your leave. I shall pave the way for our new alliance. Hurry up, you lot! The ship's about to weigh anchor! <laughs> weigh anchor? Sounds an awful lot like wanker. Wanker. You wanker. Wanker. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It seems our time is at an end. Go well, my friends. And may we meet again beneath a western sky. Meanwhile, in the Royal Palace of Alamigo, on a black screen. Sorry, I almost missed that. That scary OP emperor dude, or prince, or whatever. I always knew that woman was unfit for command. Says one of just... Aye, when you think of all the resources we poured into that hole, and for what? Just a bunch of Imperial Tribunus people... Fully armored, mass and such, just talking to each other about. Now I can only remember the freaking Gwendo Gwendoin, but that's the dude. Oh my god, I forgot her name and remembered his. Uh, he more or less just sliced, like, the lead soldier dude who was kind of standing the out beast yet lives. in front of the others. Mayhap it is time I sharpen my claws. In half. One death blow. I wonder, will you walk into my parlor once more? Zenos ye Galvis. For Dolorem Lupus, come at the command of the Lord Viceroy to present the prisoner taken by the Cranier Lupi. Oh no. Kosetsu? Oh no. Fuck, Kryl. Unexpected. Okay. Head down. But then she looks up. Zenos ye Galvus, I presume. Doesn't look scared. It's true what they say. You do have the eyes of a monster. A ravenous, insatiable fiend. You, give the butcher your weapon. My... Yes, my lord. Um, the red-headed gal, who was once a doman, is handed a weapon. 
This is... A reward given in recognition of your service. I trust it will prove more capable than its former owner. It's the sword of the lady, I think. I can't remember. Oh, it's a gun sword. Have I never noticed that? I... I swear. I'll not disappoint you, my lord. Good. Now, silence that mewling little piglet. I will not hear another sound pass her lips. Until I strip the fat from her. Was he asking her to kill Kryle or just shut her up? <clears throat> All right, we are indeed back in Limsa, right outside the Arcanist Guild, speaking with Lise. Back in yours, the last, ready to pick up where we left off and finish the fight. We're not, we're, we're not who we were when we left. We're stronger and wiser. So let's do it. Let's go. Let's get back to Alamigu and defeat Xenos once and for all. All right, we have uh, um, White Mage, two seventy nine legs, or Red Mage, two seventy nine legs. Let's go white mage, legs 270, and it's a skirt. <laughs> or red mage, legs 273. Okay, white mage it is. Cool, cool, cool. But I need the experience points on Paladin. Hence all the weird boing sounds. It's a really good impersonation of it, wasn't it? Crit piety, yeah, baby. Put that on. 276 goes up to 276. Awesome sauce. Whatever. Your face is 276. Alright. And that is the end of whatever quest that was. I'll <laughs> see you next time.